When you think of dependency injection, you might think of factories, but they can be messy, full of boilerplate and a nightmare to maintain. But what if I told you there's a smarter, cleaner way? Let me introduce you to Keyed Services. So what I've got here is a typical .NET Web API. I've got an interface for a service using dependency injection, or I want to use dependency injection with that thing. The interface is called iPotion, because let's say we are in a video game and we've got a couple of potions actually like the healing potion that is well called a healing potion and when you use this potion you feel your wounds healing then when you have a mana potion well your magical energy is restored and then the last one let's say a stamina potion where your stamina is replenished and you feel ready to keep going now the thing is when I want to use this thing in a potions controller you see it here I inject the iPotion service, let's say, and then I have this get method here to use the potion. But how do I decide which potion that is? Well, in the program CS here, you see typically with dependency injection, not using factories, I would have to register this thing right here and it is regis registered as a scoped service and I'm using the healing potion. So. At compile time, I already have to decide what kind of potion I want to register, what kind of potion I want to use. But what about runtime, right? When I test this now, I just run this and then use this built-in feature now here, then I can send this request. You see the URL is API potions. And the result then is you feel your wounds healing because we are using the healing potion. Now let's change that real quick. And let's say I'm going to use the mana potion here, restart the application, and then I go here, send the request, and we get your magical energy is restored. All right, but now what about runtime? Real quick, if you want to level up your skills with .NET and Blazor, now is the time to join the .NET Web Academy. You get over 40 hours of pure learning content. We cover things like clean architecture and CQRS. We dive really, really deep into all the new render modes of Blazor. You will learn how to publish your web applications with the help of GitHub Actions and Azure, and you get access to our community and the brand new Discord server with live collabs. I'm really looking forward to seeing you inside the academy. Again, there's the way of factories, but it seems you don't really like factories. So let me introduce you to Keyed Services. How would that work? Actually, pretty simple. You can register any Keyed Service here in the program CS, and this would look like that. Instead of just write add scope, you say add Keyed Scoped. You can enter the interface, I potion, and then here let's start again with the healing potion, right? And then, well, it's a keyed service, so we have to enter a key. And in my case, let's just say this is the heal potion, right? And then we can copy this and register another one for the I potion interface. Here is now the mana potion, and here now let's say the key is mana, and the last one is actually the stamina potion, and the key for this thing is stamina, like that. Now back to the controller. We don't have to inject the iPotion interface here anymore. There is another way to use it now. We have the get potion effect method and then here I can decide which kind of service I actually want. So for instance, I say I want the iPotion just called potion and bear with me here. There's also another maybe even better way. But let's just say we want to decide here what kind of potion we want to use, what kind of service we want to use. So there's this attribute now from keyed services. And here now we also enter this thing here. So with that now I say I want to get the healing potion. I can run this again. So let me just rebuild this. And then here send the request. We see you feel your wounds healing. Now, this means that in essence, I could write another method, maybe with another URL and then say, all right, here, I want to use the mana potion, restart the application. And now when I run this, we get your magical energy is restored. But there's still one problem for each service. In this particular case, I would have to either change this here at compile time again, or to be able to use any service when the application is running, I have to write three methods. But again, there's a better way. Let's just say 
you want to decide or you want to provide the type right for the endpoint so we have an endpoint that gets the type and based on the type of potion we want to use we will use this specific potion then how's this done well the very first thing that we need here is we have to inject the i service provider so that from that thing then we get a specific service that we want to use so i service provider it is and here we call this thing also service provider like that now down here another method public i action result gets potion effect same name right but here i just enter the type and now here i do the following i write var potion is now service provider not get service what is the suggestion here it's now get keyed service of the type i potion right and now here i enter the type if the potion is null right then here we can of course just return a not uh, not found for instance like return not found potion not found or does not exist something like that and then when we're done here and we enter the uh, closing curly brace there it is then we can do the following we just return okay and again potion and then use potion like that all right now there is one problem with that we have to set the proper uh, HTTP request method and also the URL of course so here now this is the default HTTP get method and here we have the following HTTP get and then we add something to the route and this is our type so that we really can provide the type and that's it so just recap I service provider and then here we have a route with the specific type that we want get potion effect we get the key service thanks to the service provider or from the service provider if the potion is null just a little null check here we send a not found back or otherwise we return the result of the use potion method so let's test that real quick we go to key services.net 9 HTTP and now here just to see that this is our well not a dynamic endpoint let's say right double check here in the potions controller we have mana in here so this is correct but what if I now just add heal like that and then run this uh, request you see your feel you feel your wounds healing mana run this energy is restored and the last one stamina send this request perfect this works and if you want to know more about dependency injection then i definitely recommend watching this video right here